Okay, chat. Just yesterday, we just talked about 2K21, 22, and we still need to get a cover athlete for the actual game of 22. So, let's look at the history of 2K cover athletes and the curse that comes with being on the cover. Let's go, chat. Let's check this out. We've all heard of the Madden cover curse. I heard it. If you haven't, I made a video on it a month ago. I heard it. But what if I told you that Madden wasn't the only game to have a cover curse? Yes, sir. That's right. Cover athletes of the NBA 2K games have, for the most part, had similar misfortunes shortly after gracing the cover of the game. Oh! Let's get especially crazy for some of the most recent 2K games. Well, let's and talk with about it. Coming up, I figured, why not make another cover curse video? It sure is some spooky stuff. All right, chat, before we get into it, what's a curse to a video game that you know about? Me with the Madden series. Back when I was growing up, if you made the cover of Madden, you were going to get hurt. That's the curse that I know about. What what, what y'all know? Unlike the Madden games, the early NBA 2K games didn't feature an old guy like John Madden. Yeah. They featured Allen Iverson, also known as AI. Yes, they did. In fact, they NBA did. 2K, 2K1, 2K2, 2K3, and 2K4 all featured all Iverson. Had on the Iverson. Cover. All, all of them. Iverson was never hit by a curse. To this point, because the NBA the 2K games were known to have a curse. Madden had shown signs of cursing whomever graced the cover for a while. Oh! As Garrison Hurst, the first. Oh! Got injured famously, and that no way! Hasn't slowed down, as we all just witnessed with Patrick Mahomes. So at the time, there was nothing spooky about being on the cover of NBA 2K, but only one person had ever graced the cover. With Madden, John Madden was never cursed, and like Iverson, he single-handedly was featured on the game's cover over a span of multiple years. Yeah. But in 2004, when NBA 2K5 released, uh -huh. everything changed. ESPN NBA 2K5 was one of many great 2K games released that year. Yeah. Ben Wallace, a star power forward slash center for the Detroit Pistons, we all know was about the first ben. NBA 2K cover athlete not named Allen Iverson. He was coming off of a fantastic season. Great defensive player. Great. Finals. Yes, sir. Wallace would continue playing well in the following season after becoming the cover athlete. However, the season took a Look at Kobe with the fade. Against the Pacers, known as the Malice at the Palace. They got into a fight. With 46 seconds left in the game, Wallace went up for a layup and was fouled by Ron Artest of the Pacers. Yeah. Wallace lost his temper since he was fouled for seemingly no reason as the game had already been decided at that point. He pushed Artest and a massive fight took place between both teams. A fan got involved and threw a drink at Artest, who then charged the fan. And the fight now included spectators as well as players. That's hard. I like that. After Anybody could get suspended it. suspended nine different players for a total of nearly 150 games, and five players were even charged with assault. Artest was suspended for the rest of the season, and Wallace was suspended for six games. This suspension was huge, as six games could easily be the difference between making the playoffs or missing the playoffs in the NBA, yeah. and Wallace was the key piece of that Pistons roster. Wallace played well when he returned, won Defensive Player of the Year, okay. and the Pistons once again reached the finals, however they lost to the Spurs in Game 7. Where's the curse at? All he did was get suspended and knock a couple people out. Huh? He still was defensive player, still made the finals. How was that a curse? He looking pretty fine to me. This was the beginning of the end for Ben Wallace. What? You could argue that this had nothing to do with the curse, as it was Wallace's decision to push our test and start the brawl, and Wallace has free will. But does free will even exist? What? Regardless, after being on the cover, Wallace's career had peaked, and he never again saw the same success. That has to count for something. Wallace did have another what? great regular season, and once again won Defensive Player of the Year, but he fell off hard in the playoffs, and the Pistons lost to Miami in the Eastern Conference Finals. Wallace signed with Chicago in the offseason, and he was never the same again. Yeah. He was still decent for a bit, Okay. but ironically, he lost to his former team, the Pistons, in the playoffs that year. He also started suffering knee injuries that plagued him and joined the Cavaliers before ending his career with a return to Detroit. No! So he was skeptical of the curse at this point, as you could argue that he was getting older and was likely to start declining anyway. However, Makes you sense. will soon see that there is a pattern, regardless of age, that applies to the 2K cover athletes. The next two NBA 2K games, 2K6 and 2K7, Shaq. featured Shaq on the cover. Yeah, Shaq what's Shaq had just do? won three NBA Finals with the Lakers. Yes, sir. And had been traded to the Miami Heat in the previous season. Yeah. In 2006, he won his fourth NBA title, and things were looking good for Shaq. He entered the 2007 season with high hopes, 
only to be derailed by a left knee injury that caused him to miss 35 games. No! It's also the first season in Shaq's career that his career averages fell below 20 points per game. No! The season was even worse, as Shaq was recording career lows in every category and had a huge issue fouling. He wasn't voted as an all-star for the first time in 14 seasons. What? And the Heat had a 15-game losing streak at one point in the season. Shaq was once again battling injuries, but Pat Riley, head coach of the Heat at the time, thought Shaq was faking his injuries. Huh? He traded Shaq to the Suns, where he had a slight bounce-back season in stats, and he was then traded to the Cavaliers. Yeah, I remember After that. the worst season of his career, he joined the Celtics before retiring. Similar to Ben Wallace, Shaq graced the cover and then saw his play start to fall off, got into some trouble, and bounced from team to team before retiring. Oh. This is the beginning of a common pattern. Look at Shaq with the ball! The 2 k 8 saw Chris Paul on the cover. What did Paul Chris was a star Paul point guard do? on the New Orleans Hornets who could not be stopped. He actually played very well immediately after gracing the cover. However, his team could never find any postseason success. Never, still to this day. In Paul tore cartilage in his left knee and was out for over a month for surgery. Even now, when his team is about to really make a run in the finals, he's hurt again. Chris Paul can't stop getting hurt, bro. His averages dropped significantly when he returned, and Paul was young at the time, unlike Wallace and Shaq when injuries hit then. After seeing little to no postseason success in New Orleans, Paul requested a trade, and the Hornets agreed to trade him to the Lakers. The NBA, however, owned the Hornets at the time and canceled the trade. Whoa! Everyone was unhappy with the league, as they felt that the NBA was getting too involved in trying to stop the Lakers from becoming too powerful. Instead, the Hornets traded Paul to the other LA team, the Clippers. After joining the Clippers, Paul had success, but never made it to the finals. His numbers started to drop, and he started to face constant injuries. He joined the Rockets in 2017 with James Harden, but he was never able to surpass the Warriors in the Western Conference. Paul was recently traded to the Thunder, and is no longer the incredible player he was in his prime, but instead a decent, overpriced player that the Thunder can't wait to trade away when they get the chance. While Paul didn't see misfortune immediately following his placement on the cover, he did end up following the same pattern as Wallace and Shaq, where he bounced to other teams and started to decline in play, despite the fact that Paul was actually still young when the curse took place. NBA 2K9 featured Kevin Garnett on the Yeah. Cover. The Celtics had just traded for Garnett, okay. who had a fantastic and healthy run with the Timberwolves, after looking unstoppable early in the season. Garnett injured his knee without even being touched by another player. Huh? He tried to come back after missing a decent amount of time, but ended up being shut down for the whole season. The Celtics didn't make it far in the playoffs without him. This was when the curse started to gain some traction. People had seen what had happened to the other players who were on the cover. Yeah. And while the decline of those players could have been attributed to many things, including their own personal choices or age, Garnett was injured significantly without contact. It's kind of spooky. He was still a decent player after his injury, but he was never the monster he could have been on the Celtics. They likely would have won more championships if he was never hurt, and yeah. maybe even the Billy King Nets trade wouldn't have been so bad, and maybe it wouldn't have even taken place. NBA 2K10 had none other than Kobe Bryant on the cover. What Everyone the, knows how what good happened, Kobe was Kobe. in his prime, so I don't need to go over that. However, after gracing the cover, Kobe won his last ever NBA final, and he never returned to the finals after. He suffered a torn Achilles injury yes, he shortly did. after, basically resulting in the end of his career. Kobe was obviously not the same player after his Achilles injury. He was, however, the first cover athlete to stick with the same team since joining the cover, Yeah. as switching teams was and is a constant pattern throughout this video and throughout the curse. Skeptics of the curse would say that Kobe's Achilles injury had nothing to do with being on the cover of a game, but I wouldn't question the curse. If Kobe never got hurt, and if the Chris Paul Lakers trade was never rejected by the league, who knows what would have happened to the Lakers. Who knows? NBA 2K11 featured Michael Jordan on the cover. There's no way he could get injured. 12 also had Jordan, but also included Magic Johnson. There's no way Denver. that could hurt any of, of them. Jordan was no longer an athlete. They so can't get hurt. Rejected by a curse. Or could he? What you talking Jordan about? The Charlotte Bobcats, and while Jordan was on the cover, the team hit some historic lows, including the worst ever NBA record. Oh! You could make the case that this was due to the 2K cover curse. NBA 2K13 featured Blake Griffin, Kevin Durant, and Derrick Rose. Yes! We won't talk about Durant right now, we'll wait until I get to 2K15. 
Derek Rose tore his ACL before gracing the cover. Yes, he did, yes. And the curse can't really be attributed to causing that. Makes sense. However, his recovery was a long, grueling process which you could attribute to the curse. He was never able to get back to his dominant form and was nearly out of the league until his slight resurgence last year with the Timberwolves. He's now a starter for the Pistons, but a far cry from the MVP caliber player he once was. Blake Griffin injured his ankle in the playoffs right after being oh. which ended the championship hopes for the Clippers who had Chris Paul, who was also an NBA cover athlete. However, Griffin and Durant were fine for the most part, and 2K13 was one of the tamest years for the curse. NBA 2K14, however, was a big one. What you mean, Bay? James was on the cover, at the time a member of the Miami Heat, who were coming off of two championships led by the big three of yes, LeBron, sir. Dwayne Wade, and, and Chris Bosh, yes. who were arguably the most dominant trio in NBA history. After gracing the cover, LeBron had another great season, but lost in the finals to a rising star named Kawhi Leonard and the Spurs. LeBron then decided to leave Miami and return to Cleveland where he won another championship. However, that was the only championship he would win since. The he Golden just State got Warriors one. The dynasty had begun and LeBron had finally met his match. He has since gone to the Lakers, missed the playoffs, and things are looking up for LeBron now with the addition of NBA 2K20 athlete Anthony Davis. The question is, did the curse really affect LeBron or instead the heat? After LeBron left Miami, Bosch only played for what? a bit before finding out he had blood clots in his lungs. No! He some time, but returned the next season only to again discover more blood clots, this time in his calf, and he never played again. Wade continued playing well, but eventually left the Heat to play in Chicago, then went to the Cavs to reunite with LeBron, and then back to the Heat for his farewell tour. Miami only made the playoffs once since LeBron left. Is it because of the curse? Sure sounds like it to me. NBA 2K15 featured Kevin Durant on the cover. Similar yes, to LeBron, sir. Durant ended up leaving the team he graced the cover on shortly, joining the Golden State Warriors. Durant would have success there, but let's backtrack a bit. Back Immediately it up after then. After becoming the cover athlete while still on the Thunder, yeah. Durant injured his foot and missed 55 games. <laughs> the next season, Durant was back and better than ever, but his season ended against the Golden State Warriors. Durant then decided to join them in the offseason and faced a lot of criticism. He won two championships in Golden State, Yes, however, he did. but in the 2019 playoffs he tore his Achilles, one of the worst injuries a player could ever get. This is the same injury that basically ended Kobe's career. Durant signed with the Brooklyn Nets in the offseason, however he will likely miss the entire season recovering and it's anyone's guess if he will return as the same player he was prior. He is hooping like a monster right now. The curse got Durant here, although winning two titles isn't so bad. There is that feeling, which is part of the reason Durant signed with Brooklyn, that Durant didn't deserve those two rings, as anyone on the Warriors during that period was basically guaranteed a ring. Wait, if 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 the Nets can't secure Game 7 against the Bucks, could that be a part of the curse? But Giannis was on the cover of a 2K. Chad, what is going on? He will always regret not being able to prove that he could win a title himself, without the help of Curry, Green, Clay, and the Warriors dynasty. Makes sense. Maybe the curse affected Durant mentally more than anything. Or maybe not. I'm a Nets fan, so hopefully Durant returns as good as ever and brings a championship to Brooklyn. If he doesn't, I'll blame it on the curse. Whoa! 16 featured three players, James Harden, Steph Curry, and Anthony Davis. Yes. Harden started the season out poorly, and while he eventually started playing well down the stretch, he regressed from his near MVP play the season before. Not only that, but the Rockets regressed as well and barely made the playoffs and didn't go very far in the Yeah, the Rockets never Anthony did Davis anything in the playoffs. Anthony Davis played in 61 games after battling injuries. And Anthony Steph Davis Curry got hurt again! The of the three, as he went from being the best player on the best NBA regular season team ever to battling injuries and no longer playing as well as he was during the season. He went crazy LeBron. this year. Despite this, the Warriors made it to the finals and took a 3-1 series lead over LeBron and the Cavs. Who then came back and beat the Warriors, winning three straight. You think that was Davis a curse? Three one lead blown. Curry went from a 73 win season to blowing a three and one lead and becoming a meme. Of course, Curry would rebound the following two seasons by winning two titles, but the curse definitely had its moment. NBA 2K17 featured Paul oh, George, who like LeBron George, and ended up joining bro. a new team. George was great on the Pacers, but never found postseason success. He ended up joining the Thunder and is now on the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard. 
We are definitely seeing a pattern of cover athletes moving to new teams as soon as they hit the cover. It's almost as if someone joining the cover means they are going to leave their city. 2K18 featured Kyrie Irving, who was a Cavalier at the time. Yes, he was. And as we keep seeing, he requested a trade and became a Celtic before the game even released. 2K had to change the cover right at release, and there are copies of him in a Cavs uniform and him in a Celtics uniform circulating because of this. That's hard! 2K19 featured Giannis, and honestly, nothing really bad happens to the Greek freak unless you consider losing to the Raptors in the playoffs part of the curse. Giannis has been rumored to be looking for a new team in the coming offseason if Milwaukee doesn't win a title this year, which would only make the curse argument even more valid. 2K19 also had a Canadian cover with DeMar DeRozan, who shortly after gracing the cover was traded to the Spurs. Oh! It's almost crazy how this keeps happening. 2K20 was announced to have Anthony Davis on the cover while he was still in New Orleans. He was traded to the Lakers shortly after. Davis had been requesting a trade for a while, however, as he had been unhappy in New Orleans, so it's a bit of a stretch to say that he was moved because of the curse. However, his season has just begun, so maybe the curse will hit him later on. Lakers fans and NBA fans in general sure hope that's not the case. Some people argued in the comments that boy on the video that the curse only counts if the player was injured or saw misfortune the season immediately following the placement on the cover. However, I think that it's interesting to look at how these players' careers went on the years following their cover placement as well. The curse is too powerful to define or explain. Remember when Donovan McNabb said the Madden cover curse wasn't real, and then he tore his ACL, got injured numerous times after, lost his job to Michael Vick, got traded to two different teams, retired, and has had issues with the law and handling himself since? Don't mess around with the curse. So what do you think? Is the curse real? Are you real? Who got hit the hardest and why? What? Lots of people commented on the Madden cover curse calling me names because I supposedly believed in a curse. They said players get hurt all the time, and there's nothing coincidental about it. So those people, watch yourself. The curse might hit you next. Remember Leafy's curse from Mr. Black Darkness 666? It ended his career. I'm not really drawing any conclusions in these videos, I'm just putting all the information out there in one video to help you decide. Sometimes, however, coincidences are nothing more than that. Coincidences. But you can never be too careful, either. Just ask Donovan McNabb. Take care, happy Halloween, and good night. Chat, that video actually scary at the end there. That got a little scary, chat. What are y'all thinking about this down in the comments? I don't know what's going on anymore, bro. Chat, I gotta get out of here, bro. Y'all tweaking. I did not expect any of this.